So I I heard it that time. Okay. Here are some vocab words. First, I want to start with this word. What does it say? Karaberu. It's not ka. It's... Sorry, ku. Yes. Kuraberu. Kuraberu. For example, in English, we say you can't kuraberu apples and oranges. Interesting. Yeah, it's, it's a popular English phrase. Because kuraberu means to compare. Oh, okay. So the way how kudabudu works is that you use o for what you're comparing, and then you also have to between the two comparing items. So ringo to orange o kudabudu. What would that mean in Jap in English? Comparing apples to oranges. Yes. And what's this word? Furoiru. 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 My hint is that you read this one right, but somehow you got that one wrong. Furu iru. Yep, furu iru. Furu iru. Furu iru. What does furu iru mean? To shake? Yes. Uh, specifically, you wouldn't really furu iru like a salt shaker. It's normally more of a like nervous shaking than yeah. a salt shaker shaker. Um, next is this word. Uh, 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 hiragaru. Higa, hiragaru. There you go. Hirogaru. Hirogaru. Wow. These te, well, ude, these, this ude, this human being, their ude are doing hirogaru. So it's like just opening up your arms. Specifically, it means like to spread wide. Ah. Ah, I can't spell in this anymore. To spread wide, that's what it kind of means. So it can also be used with ta talking about this keski we can see right here. This keski that's in front of the woman. It kind of hirogarus around her, it spreads yeah. wide. So, what does keski mean? Uh, uh, I would guess it is sunset light. Or... That's a good guess, but uh, Keski doesn't need a sunset, but a good Keski can definitely have a sunset. Keski basically means like scene, like a like the scenery, basically. Mm. It's some kind of view, and it, it's always like something like you you take in. It's like, it's kind of like a, it's like a good word. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> um, so you probably know this, but this is just me refreshing on de. How de can be used with tools. For example, hasami de kami o hiru means to cut paper with scissors. Yep. So I would like you to make the sentence with shaky hands, I open a book. We got furueru, te, hon, and agita. Hmm. Shaky hands. I opened a book. All right. Do, 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 do. I think I <clears throat> have. You? I just needed this on. <laughs> All right. Um, hon o agete de furoiru de. I think. This is a good guess. However, things are in a little bit off order. Let's go look at the example sentence. With scissors, I cut paper. With scissors, I cut paper. So, oh, okay. How would uh, you change the first one? Yes. Um, furoiru de. Ah, how that happen? Yeah, and then I would be hon or I'll get that. So what is furuing? To shake. No, uh, I mean what what is shaking in the sentence? Uh, hands. Yeah, 
So we need to put hand in there. So this right here is with shaking with with shaking hands. Oh right, yeah. So I think you actually did say this in the original sentence, but you put it, but it didn't register for me because there was. I think you did like de furuerute, <laughs> and then I I I switched it around. So there there we go. Opening a book with shaking hands. Okay. Boop. So I thought I was going to do something a little bit different where I want to try teaching you some kanji as we're going through here. So you probably know this word. What is it? Miru or just me. Yes. And what does miru mean in English? To see. Yes. Um... Uh, I'm going to skip that for now. Like the thing would work, but I'm going to wait because I feel like you already knew me too, from other things. Okay, so now here's a sentence for you to read. Uh, Jack, uh, I forgot that kanji. I've seen it a bunch though. Ude? It's uh, close. Te. Ude is super close because Ude is arm. Te oh, okay. is related to that. Te, so. Shaky hands. Yep. And then we have that de after it. Furoerute de sakiki. Sakiki. No, saki made. Miru. Yep. I said miru. It's mite. Mitaeta. Kyoryu. Zukan no peji o ageta. Nice. So um, let's ignore Saki Made for now. So we have Jaku wa Zuka no Peiji o Aketa. What does that part mean? Jaku wa Zuka no Peiji o Aketa. Hmm, Zuka no Peiji o Aketa. So the page with the bookmark has opened it. That's a really good guess because you know we're talking about some kind of page. But Zukan actually is talking about the type of book it is. Mm. Um, specifically, it is a picture dictionary, is what Zukan is. Zukan. So um, he's saying the picture dictionary's page, he opens up to it, basically. Or it is opened to a page in the picture book. Um, yeah. What is this picture dictionary about? Kyori. Which is a giant monster. Close. That's kaiju. Ah. Uh, but kyoryu are a kind of giant monster. So in that itself, it's not wrong. But um, Godzilla is not a kyoryu. Hmm. But a kyoryu is a kai kaiju. So what is what is kyoryu then? It, it is, is a flying monster. So a pterodactyl. Close. It is a scary dinosaur. I mean, a scary, a scary dragon. So oh, pterodactyl okay. is a yokuryu. Yoku. Do you? When the yoku mm -hmm. has like wings in it or something. And so that'd be the flying dinosaur. But this one here is scary dragon, which is dinosaur. Um, so jaku wa miteita. So what does... um. I uh, actually I'm gonna put that. So saki made is a time phrase. You know what it means? What mm. are we referring to? Saki made. Mm, like a little while ago. Exactly. That's a hundred percent what it means. So it says up until a little bit ago. Saki made. Jack wa niteita kyoryu zukan no peiji. So this is all describing the peiji that Jack had mita, like it's being described as a page that Jack mita, mita dot. What does that mean? Mm, mm, mm. So in the picture book, uh, Jack saw a giant flying monster. Or no, like a dragon. <laughs> That's a good guess based off of like the nonsense I tell you. <laughs> but it's not what it says. So it says Jack. Um, up until 
well, I guess what's confusing is that you need to put the verb in there. <laughs> so Jack yeah. has open the page. He he has it open. It is open. Um, and he's kind of has been looking at it. This page, and this page is from the book. That's a picture book page. Um. And his hand is shaking while he's doing it. So he's like opening the page um, while uh, staring at it. So it it just means that he's staring at it or specifically was staring at it as he opened in the page. Because this is um, all in past tense, the sentence. Mm. So it just, it doesn't translate super well in English because in English we have to keep the tenses like exactly the same for things but in Japanese it's a little bit more fluid based off of like events yeah. so it's basically saying the book the page that had the, the he was, so he was looking at this picture book just a second ago and now he's flipping it open to a certain page again because um last week uh he dropped the book remember because the house started spinning yeah and then he ran to look at the window. So this Sakima de Miteta just is saying just a little bit ago he was looking at this book. <laughs> so he was looking at this book just a little bit ago and he's come back to this book and is now reopening up to probably the page that he was on earlier. So it's the page that specifically has um the pterodactyl on it. thing. Yeah. So the dragon thing, there's no dragon here. So dinosaur, dinosaur in um, Japanese, the word is fear dragon. Ew. This is the same word. Um, It's just how the word is like composed. So... I always tell the joke where the scariest dragon is a dinosaur because they actually existed, but the word itself is just fear dragon. Yeah. Similar to how yoku uh, ryu is like wing dragon, which is kind of funny. So there's no dragons here. It's just a dinosaur, but its name is made up of fear dragon. Fear dragon. <laughs> yeah. So it's just a a naming convention. So if you're translating this and you didn't like know what a dinosaur was, you'd be like, hmm, fear dragon. Okay. And you would like write that in your book. You'd have to like actually see like a picture and be like, oh, dinosaur. That's what you meant. Dinosaur. (laughs) Okay. Zukan. Do you know what Zukan meant? Zukan meant picture book. It did. Specifically, a dictionary picture book. So this kanji right here basically shows up with, like, maps and stuff. So things like maps or, like, a cinematic diagram or a picture book that is a dictionary picture book. So it basically it's like a piece of paper that has instructions written on it. Hmm. Um, especially since it shows up in the word for cheese it. Cheese it which is land and then instructions, which means map. Yep. So X marks the spot. So that is zoo. So that's pronounced as zoo. Um, and I am going to go over to this page. Okay, um. what's this? This is Miru. Yes. And what's that? That is Zukan. Nice. Okay. Okay. So now you have this sentence to read. Uh, Soto no Kishi Kito Zukan no E o Nandomo Miruka. Sorry. It's Mikurabe. Yep. Temiru. Perfect. So, mi kurabete just means to kurabete using your mi, your eyes to, to look well. Kurabetating. Uh, it's just 
For example, you could cohabitate with your hands instead. You could be like, hmm, this one weighs more than the other. You know what nandomo means? Nandomo. I hear it way too often. Well, the first part nandomo. is pretty similar. Nan. Like means nani. What? It does mean what. So what in Japanese has a second word that it tends to show up? For example, in nanika would be an example. Nanika. Where you get none. Okay. Yes, that would be somewhere. Well, something. 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 So nan domo, this domo right here, basically means like times. So what do you think what times means? Uh, every time. Basically, it means um, it, it's a little bit different than every every it. it it means countless times, uh, specifically. Like you're, there's so many hmm. times that you're unable to count them. Nando, nandomo, 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 nandomo. This means over and over and over again, basically. So Jack, he is over and over and over again. Kurabiteiru. What is he? Kurabitei. What What does kurabiteiru mean? Kurabiteiru. Uh uh. Sounds familiar. My hint is that we have the to. For example, earlier we did ringo to hmm. orange o oh. kurabeiru. Oh, that's why it's in bold. Okay, so it's like comparing. Yeah, we are comparing. Yeah, I have it on gold because gold, so I thought it would make it more obvious. That is the grammar point. Hi. So we are comparing zukan no e and soto no keski. What is the soto no keski? Soto no keski. Uh, outside keski. And yeah. Keski was. was well, keski? keski might have trees, but it could also be a oh, scenery. Yes. So the outside scenery and what? And a zukan no e. <clears throat> so a zukan of a e. What was zukan again? <laughs> well, uh, zukan. Well, my hint is that if you drew, if you grabbed a map, a piece of paper, and you saw like do 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 boop boop, what would that make you think of? A map. Map. So what kind of map? <laughs> so this right here would be a earth map. What if we want to do a map of a book? Go. Yeah. Book map. <laughs> book map. <laughs> kind of like a, a map of language, maybe. We should make it into a dictionary. Interesting. <laughs> the, the way my mind works, <laughs> the the book map is a dictionary. Um, so Zukan is a picture dictionary. Zukan. Specifically, this is referring to a Kyoryu Zukan. You know what Kyoryu meant? Um, a flying dinosaur or that's Yokoryu. Yokoryu is flying dinosaur. What's Kyoryu? That is a dinosaur. Yes, just a dinosaur. So we have a picture dictionary of a dinosaur. Now, picture <clears> dictionaries. <throat> what do picture dictionaries have a lot of? Mm, pictures. Yes. So that's what e means. E means picture. Picture. So, what is Jack comparing? He is comparing Soto Kishiki, which is outside scenery, with Zukan no E, which is a picture dictionary with pictures, I guess. He's comparing the pictures of a, a picture in the picture dictionary with the outside scenery. Hmm. That make a little yeah. bit more sense. <laughs> yeah. Oh, why did it go backwards? I just have that twice for some reason. Do you remember 
the pronoun no, for example, それからあの時代には空を飛ぶ横流っていうのもいたんだ。This no right here. Mm -hmm. So this no refers to the previous thingy.、Yeah. So the yokoryu. So what kind of thing is the yokoryu? Uh, noun. Yes, that is correct. This probably make more sense if I did the full sentence, which was the i g u r a no don, s u t e g u r a r u s o r a s k o r y u no oja, t e r a no s a o r u s So, the car, ano di dai ni wa, soro tobu, yokuryu, te yu no, mo itanda. So, we've listed a bunch of what? Dinosaurs. Yeah. So, we're, so the topic of the sentence is about dinosaurs. So, this no right here is a filler word for the topic, kind of. Topic's probably not the right word, but the. So, well, it is kind of topic. Topic, subject.、Uh, okay, I think y o k u r u is a subject and the topic is Kyoryu. <laughs> One of the other words that don't make a lot of sense in English. We don't talk about it enough. But basically, we all know what we're talking about. We're talking about dinosaurs. And now he's talking about a Pacific dinosaur, but he's still in the same category. So, no is the Kyoryu. So, y o k u r u is、um, the name of a dinosaur that can fly in the sky. y o k u r u っていうの So, no is basically a filler word for something that's been mentioned probably in the last sentence, but it can be used for something mentioned in the first sentence as well. Over here is an example of the previous sentence filler word. Do、yeah. you know what this word means? Soto means outside. Nice. So,、um, I'm going to do something. Real fast, my screen. Where is it? What? Perfect. What's this word? It's a gun. Nice. And what does it mean? It means a dictionary. What kind of dictionary? A picture dictionary. Exactly. Perfect. And what's this word? This is soto, which means、nice. outside. Perfect.、Um, and next is this sentence.、Uh, Mado no sato ni hiro ga hiro ga te iru no wa hon no eto ma no mataku. Mataku? Yep. Mataku. Ona jike. So, this no right here is referring to something that has already showed up, is showing up inside of this specific sentence. Specifically, it's this keski right here. So, mado no soto ni hirogate iru keski wa hon no e to mataku onaji keski datta. So it's like referred to something I'll say later on. Yes. It's either the no either refers to a previous sentence or the current sentence. And over here, it is the current sentence that it's referring to.、Hmm. How would you know unless the context、um, hasn't been given? It, it's context based because we're, we're the whole topic of this like paragraph basically. So no basically can replace the topic. Of, like, a paragraph. So, theoretically, this could also be the previous sentence because the last sentence was also talking about the keshiki, which was Soto no keshiki to dukan no e o nando mo mite kurabete ru, which is so he's comparing the scenery and the、um, picture in the book. So, over here, we are doing the exact same thing, which is the thing. Spreading out from outside the window, what would we be talking about in that context? We would be talking about scenery. Yeah, rather than, we must not be talking about the whole no e. That's already mentioned in the sentence, and that would not be spreading out outside of their window. So it's, so 
the pronoun no is context based. And the same in English. We would say like, oh, my sister likes pie, but my, my older sister likes pie, but my younger sister likes popcorn. The one who likes popcorn is my favorite sister. All so right. right over there, we had two different sentences, and then we referred to previous information using the one. So this is the exact same thing here. So it's context-based for whatever one we're talking about, because we already know we're talking about something outside of the window, which is a keski. So I guess it is the last sentence, uh, but they're just re saying the word keski. They repeated the no in the sentence, even though it was brought up in the previous sentence. That's cool, I guess. I mean, as long as it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it's all context based. But um, do you know what onaji means? It means same. Nice. So what does mataku onaji mean? Mataku onaji. So it's like I've never heard mataku onaji. Mataku onaji. Mataku is almost always used negatively, <laughs> yeah. which makes sense why you haven't heard it. It means completely. <clears throat> But it, it's very common to be used in like a negative kind of way. Like, oh, it's, that's completely horrible or something. Um, which is probably why you haven't seen it here. But here it's saying it's completely the same. No difference at all. Mataku um, onaji. And what is the same? Keshke means to shake. <laughs> no. Oh, sorry. Scenery. Keshke. Yeah, scenery. Scenery, yeah. Hi. And... What does mado no soto ni hirogatte iru mean? Mado no soto hirogatte, no, hirogatte iru. Um, mado no soto, the window outside, or outside the window. Outside the window. Is hirogatte iru. Hirogatte iru. This has to do with your field of vision. If you've ever seen anybody draw like what people see. you don't see straight in front of you you know you yeah. see like this so this is hirogatteiru <clears throat> just like if you open your arms that wide that's your field of vision it spreads out so this is saying so if you were translating this to english it'd be um the thing the the one say the thing that is spreading out uh spreading out <laughs> from the window it is a completely it is the exact same scene as what is inside of the book's pictures oh no eh. yeah. oh no eh. Eh means picture they do know what they do okay so what is this word? Uh, miru. And this word? Soto. Nice. And what's this guy? That is uh, zukan. Nice. And what does zukan mean? Zukan means a dictionary, picture dictionary. Yeah. Good job. So here's our next word. What does this mean? Soda. You know what soda means? It means this guy. It does mean this guy. Soda can also mean empty. It, it would be pronounced differently. It'd be pronounced as kara. But the sky, there's nothing in the sky. So it's empty, of course. Nothing in there. <laughs> empty. So this is actually probably one of the more important kanji to learn. Just because if you go to Japan, whenever there's like seat open or something like that, you might see like a signboard that will have kara show up. In like red or green to be like yes, free thought spots or nope, full. So, mm. uh, okay, some vocab words. First off, kusa. What do you think that means? Uh, grass. Nice. How about uh, sida? Sida. Uh, well, it's not leaves. Unless it is it's not leaves. leaves. It is. 
branches of this is called a fern. A fern. Yeah, that's what that thing is. You probably don't have a lot of ferns where you live. <laughs> nope. Nope. My forest has, where I live has so many ferns everywhere. <laughs> so where we are, it has kusa and it has ferns. Next is senotakai. What does that mean? Senotakai. It means senotakai. Senotakai. Oh, long Sen spine. Exactly. Long so it means tall. Senotakai. Tall. Because in English, saying long spine, short spine, sounds it's weird. It's kind of weird. But that is, that is what it's saying. It's like the spine back. It is tall. But that just means they're tall. How about jimen? Jimen. Soil? That's a good guess. Specifically, it means like the ground, which tends to have, but like it's it's not like, you wouldn't use jimen like, if you're like on the floor, like that would be like yucca. So it is like soily ground, basically. It just means like outside ground. But there could be grass or whatever. It doesn't need to be like pure ground or anything. Mm. Um, if you're playing sports, for example, with like the diamonds, that would be demon. If you like fell over there. <laughs> if you fell on the cement, that would also be demon. So it's like the out. floor. Yeah, it's like the floor, but you wouldn't use it like inside the house. So mm, it's floor okay. outside of house. It's demon. Um, so I no longer have the paid version of Zoom. So um, basically, I'm going to stop sharing and a re jump, and you're going to re jump in. Just click the exact same link as before. <laughs> It'll be oh fine. yeah. All right. <laughs> so tsk tsk. 